Once I knew I was pregnant, I knew that we had to save the cord blood just in case anything happens to either one of our children. I felt it was like an insurance policy. And I didn't save my daughter's cord blood, so I was even more insistent on saving John's. If we didn't save it and I would have needed it, I would have been devastated about that. I had a very easy pregnancy. Three and a half months old, I started noticing things. It was strange that he couldn't pick things up with his right hand. And he would go to grab a toy with the right hand and couldn't do it, and then would grab it with the left hand. When he started standing up, I noticed he was always tilted to the left. His hand was open before, and then probably about four and a half months, his hand started clenching, and his arm was very stiff, and he usually held it straight down. The neurologist looked at him, examined him, doing all sorts of testing with him, and he told us that our son had a brain injury. We went for an MRI, and we got the results back, and they were not good. It was a massive stroke. Well, we're very lucky that he survived. The whole area of language was gone. The middle artery was wiped out. I got on the computer, and I would just research all night long. And I came across a name online of a doctor out in California. She specializes in pediatric stroke. So I emailed her, and I told her about John and his MRI, and asked her about using the, the stem cells from cord blood, and what she thought about it. And she got back to me right away and told me that she thinks it would be a good idea, and that Duke University was doing a clinical trial. We made arrangements to go down to North Carolina. Um, we went September 28th was the infusion. The first day we were down there, John just got a physical and blood work. The next day was the actual infusion, which was a short process. We went back to the hotel. The next morning, we just had to call the nurse and let her know that he was okay. And we went home that day. When we were driving home from the airport, John started putting both arms above his head to do so big. and. We were shocked. I was crying in the car. He never did that before. He would never lift that arm up. A week later, he started pivoting in the circle. Before that, he could sit wobbly at best. Now he was sitting up perfect. He was spinning around in a circle. It didn't take long. He started making all sorts of changes. He started really using the arm more in his hands. His hands would open, and he would grab things. He was able to pick things up. Through this all, we've always stuck to the therapies. The combination, I think, really did something because he just made all these improvements pretty quickly. We have been told by his therapist that they typically do not see progress like this. He started taking steps, and about 15 months, he was able to take about five steps here and there. And then by 16 months, he was off and going. He was walking everywhere. Now he runs all over the place. He's skipping, he's trying to jump, he's doing all sorts of stuff. We're very happy about his progress.